Hi guys, we're making videos about Wonderland. So Wonderland is new, new desktop. It's explained in how to install it in the all installation videos, installation article is D. So the most difficult bit that we kind of have is go to phase D and well, phase um, six, I think it is, right? And then you install the Aglinx D. So up here is the easier bits, all the easier bits and uh, Aglinx D is a little bit more difficult. So that's there. What we've done already as well is Aglinx B, how to build your own ISO for Wonderland. It seems I still need to get in the new image because there is already a new image, so it's it's really is a caching kind of thing. But um, that's okay, no problem. And what we still need to do is phase seven, archway. You install it on BIOS, UFI, phase two, phase three, phase four. And it's the all-in-one video that's now missing. So creating Arch Linux, uh, the archway, the archway of installing things, is explained in here, Arch Linux start, the archway of following the wiki, is explained in lots and lots and lots of articles, but not yet Wonderland. So I'm gonna make one for Wonderland as well. So Super F7, now I can skip a little bit, and that's um, maybe too bad, but there are so many videos already out there, so that's okay. Arch Linux is here. I don't know how far I went into this thing, so let's just boot it up. Is this already installed? Yeah, I've got everything already, and well, not everything, but I have something, like I said in the other video, a comparison is with a computer, a motherboard and then you start playing and you're building it up. So it seems I have already light DM installed, but enlightenment and left WM are there. So I can't use them. Sorry, voila, too bad. But I do believe I have more Arch Linux template. There you see, there he is. So I'm gonna use this guy to move it over here. Uh, okay. Let's see, uh, okay, fine, okay. And then the template of Arch Linux is there. So this one needs to go, can't have that one in there. So this one is the Arch Linux mirror. I'm gonna put them in a different group and I'm gonna rename the group to Arch Linux. Normally I don't do these things, but pff, yeah. I did it now. So the thing is, you can just click these things and close these things. And for you guys watching the videos, it makes more sense. We have an Arch Linux template. Okay, let's first and see see what it is, what's in there. So Grub is already there. It's present. It's an empty kind of thing. I chose XFS in that particular video. You can choose anything, right? Session empty. Good. So it's a XORG. It's an SEM. And nothing behind it. So now comes Wonderland basically. Now logging in into something that's not there. Ah, it's not possible. So right control F3. And let's see, I can I am already yeah, I'm already a user. So what you should do is not update, but sudo pacman minus syyu. And then you start updating all the packages, which is actually not that much. Kind of amazed. And then it's up to knowledge. Okay, where do we get knowledge? Control F. You go to, is it here? You go to the Arch Wiki. Basically, Arch Wiki Wonderland. Wonderland. And you read. There is not anything, there, there isn't anything to read. There is uh, packages, and yes, there is a guy at Linux, he's making some videos about it but wiki is not present so too bad nothing there wonderland maybe maybe that one but i think it's something else <laughs> wonderland aesthetics yeah okay cool <laughs> so we do have a package so the aor up here arch user repository we can have a look that's it basically just the one 
enter. And it comes, so it points to the GitHub. This is where it's all developed. So if you have questions, ask these guys. They are the developers. They know how it works and what can be done and what's not possible and all that. That's here. And we do see some information here. Look at that. After installation, remember to place a config file, example, at uh, config. Okay. So we'll come back to this later on because that's a wiki now. There is no Arch wiki. Good. No problem. So we've, um, we've done that. Good practice is also interesting to show good practices. If that's the Arch Linux template, it's now up to date. Right mouse click, now I'm gonna play. This is Arch Linux with Wonderland. And later on, I'll do an Arch Linux with BSPWM. And another one, and another one. And you just keep on making clones. But this guy is your reference. You keep updating that thing and then you shut down. Then you have always an up-to-date template when you start. Okay. So, empty. I'll boot right into the system. So I need to install something that's from the AUR. Hmm. Installing something that's from the AUR. If Ye is not there, if Tryzen is not there, if Paru is not there, how should I install something from the AUR? Adaclinxd.com maybe? I don't know. Install AUR. Let's see what we get. Install AUR. AUR, yay, GPG keys, Arclinx tweak tool. Mm -hmm. We can get the tweak tool in, that's right. That's true. But at this point in time, everything is still quite black. But that will work. That will work. That's an option. So home, info. We keep this around, always on the info page. Arclinx spices application. It means if you spice your food, is you make it nicer, better. So we're spicing Arch Linux to become an Arch Linux. That's it, basically. Get the Arch Linux keys and packages, that's what we do. But if you are in TTY, that's what we are in a black screen, we can do this, git clone it, and then run it. That's the same thing. What if we found a way to install something from the AOR. Is it somewhere explained? Get AOR helpers for any Arch Linux based system. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Installing a desktop. Use snapshot from AOR. Okay. How to install it? Installing in a terminal. That's where we are. Installing in a terminal or TTY. We need to do this. And then make the package. All right. I am moving this guy to my other screen so I can read. Then I'm going to move to the virtual box. And then we press right control F2. We're in there. And what should I do? Well, let's scroll. When you are on TTY. When you are on TTY. Well, easiest way is to get the files and build it. Okay. Git clone. Is git insta installed? Good question. Pseudo pacman minus s git. No, it was not. Git clone. And then https double point slash slash aor dot arch linux dot org. Yay. B. Enter. ls. We've got a folder called yay bin. cd or Parubin or something like that. It doesn't matter, right? It's just an AOR helper, the one you like. Okay, unless you've got a package build, what do you do? You make a package with the package build. So this is a, what I call a recipe. It is explained to you how to make lasagna and you run it and you got lasagna. Well, yay bin is there, unless we need to install it. Pseudo, Pacman, and you have built it, right? So you type U. 
you have built yay bin and you have now installed yay bin and why are we doing this all to get yay and then wonderland and see what's out there number one is wonderland yes 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 <laughs> yes 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 installed eventually okay we cross our arms and we wait it's installed and that's important right in terminals people give messages important make sure you have a config file in mm -mm. an example config file has been placed in mm -mm. so i need to copy well make directories first make a directory in the dot config do we have the dot config i suppose so let's go to the root and like so no not so like so config and then wonderland so we have that folder created and now we can go and copy etc xdg wonderland the config needs to go inside the just type it over what's on the top there config wonderland config that's it and that's where it ends right we have devol evolved and developed it further and and did our thing with it our arco thing with it and um now it's done the work is done and it's entirely up to you what you do with it it's the configuration that matters and we could go inside that particular folder i would advise you do that <laughs> and a folder and then ls it's there nano config and start editing things changing things what do you want to do assign this assign that and all floating kind of things it's entirely up to do to you what you do with the code he wants to execute Dunst. Dunst is not installed. This part is not installed. Clipper is not installed. Compton is not installed. By, by the by, right? By the by. The name changed. Pycam. So config. And then you should change the reference to it as well. And, and, and so on. It, and Polybor is missing. So we could boot up. So I'll show you what a normal Arch Linux guy gets. If we are going to sudo reboot, you get a system that won't work. It is really up to you to configure the config. <laughs> so Wonderland, yay, you got it. And then, no, there's nothing. This is your beautiful Wonderland at this point in time. It's up to you to make it work. Next videos, I'm going to get in the spices. I'm going to in get in the Arconlix way of... Uh, the vision of, of Wonderland of Arcolex and then make it work again here. But this is Arch. Be my guest. Keep developing it. All right.